Hi, I'm Charlie C., a professor from the Industrial and Systems Engineering Department of De La Salle University. There are still 2.3 million households in the Philippines who have no access to electricity. These households are in remote communities that cannot be reached by the national grid. One way to address this is to look at other sources of renewable energy, such as microhydro. Microhydro diverts water from a river, channels it into a valley, and then uses a turbine to generate electricity. However, the sustainability of microhydro projects in these communities have been a major issue due to poor planning and cash flow problems. The supply of uh, materials or technology is not yet available locally. Typically, we import it from other countries, which makes the cost of the microhydro system more expensive compared to other countries. And one way to figure this out or to mitigate this is by doing some kind of optimization so that you could uh, find you know, the, the best way so that you could maximize the very little resources that we have. My research addresses these difficulties in that I have developed an optimization approach called TORO. Through mathematical models, TORO considers uncertainty at the point of decision making. So this leads to solutions that can withstand unintended events. TORO highlights the importance of economic viability as a pillar of sustainable development. And together with my students, we develop a micro-hydro TORO framework for Barangay Parina. Aside from the technical aspects, such as the type of turbines, we also consider the possibility of the microhydro to not only provide electricity to households, but also create livelihood for the community. Utilizing microhydro would now allow them to start exploring farming industries that require electricity, such as agro-processing, farming incubation, and grain milling. Toro also allowed us to develop a plan that will be robust to population growth and variability in the stream flow of the rivers. These ultimately affect the amount of electricity generated. I'm a scientist and an educator, but if not for my professors who believed in me, I wouldn't be on this path that I'm actually meant to be on. And I see that as a privilege to be able to pay it forward by now being a mentor myself. I had the privilege of experiencing firsthand Dr. C's dedication to mentoring young scientists. She inspired me to pursue a career in STEM. She helped me develop my skills and taught me the importance of teamwork and collaboration in producing quality and impactful research. It's my hope to create more sustainable energy solutions for villages like Barangay Parina. I would also like to mentor and collaborate more with students like Dr. Jane so that we can have more women in science.